we hit from. <laughs> Oh, I hate this. You've said you are fat and ugly. You have huge thighs. You are too much and too big. Me posting in your whole head is huge and ugly. You are fat and it's disgusting. You said that you have a really chubby face that looks silly in photos. People perceive me as young, immature, unintelligent because of how I look. You had a lazy eye. Me, yeah, I didn't even notice. Didn't notice. Didn't notice. You're the fattest person in your house. You are as amazing as everyone thinks you are. I went through such a long period of time where I hated my body and I like, hated this, hated that, and I like, could list the things. But then it became so much more general to like, like everything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so weird talking about. But like it's so normal. By saying it out loud and to other people, it's sort of a release. Like yeah. you don't just say it to yourself all the time. And um, saying it out loud like makes it make you realise that you're stupid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like all bodies are beautiful anyway. Um, but when it's with yourself, you're just made to feel certain ways. You're taught to look for the flaws rather than looking for the good things. One person will say like, oh, okay, like, yeah, and that's it. But like everyone else going, whatever you, whatever. Like I used to say, like, oh, and, yeah, I just feel so fat. Everyone's like, oh, no, 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 yeah. no, you're not fat. No, stop it. That kind of creates this, like, you can't be pretty yeah, without it's a dichotomy being skinny. Between you are fat or you are beautiful. Yeah. I think it's different for girls and guys. Sometimes as a guy, it's really weird to admit that you've had an eating disorder because um, it's not something that you hear about a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it makes people question your masculinity. It's so toxic to compare people, to compare them negatively. And that's where like, intersexual feminism comes from. When you look at yourself, you see all the imperfections that other people don't yeah, see. Yeah. And I bet like me saying like, oh, I didn't notice, I bet people don't notice, is probably frustrating because you're like, well, I notice. I have kind of learned that it's important to imagine that I'm saying what I'm saying to myself to someone else and realize that yeah. that's not a good way to live because if I said that to people, if I said everything that I thought about myself to my friends, I wouldn't have any friends. But if you said it to me, I would days. vehemently defend myself. Yeah. But I don't defend myself against myself. Someone at school will teach you how to be polite and how to say nice things about other people. No one teaches you a relationship with yourself, really. It's like harder because we're kind of made to not say good things about ourselves because it seems in like a negative way. This is the body I've got, this is the body I'm meant to have, this is my natural Embrace body. Embrace it. And I love, love, it. love it. And there are times where I'm like, oh, my tummy's got bigger than it used to be. And then I'm like, but who's going to exercise it off, not me? You also have to have those moments where, you, where you're like, yeah, I'm feeling myself. Like, you take that picture in the mirror and you're like, yeah, I look great and I want to show everyone. I like the way that my eyes light up when I'm passionate about something. I like my face, <laughs> which is yes. great because like, I'm stuck with it. <laughs> I think you have really good skin. <laughs> I think you have really nice eyes, I oh, thank you. <laughs> I also have a disability, I don't know how obvious it is. I remember when I went on like a date with my side, I'd be like, oh, I have this disability. And then most guys who talk to me would be like, oh, I don't care about your disability. <laughs> and that made me think, oh, probably people don't care. People care more, more on your personality yeah. than on your appearance. As much as I think, I'm quite overwhelming in ways. I think it could be good. I spent a lot of time sort of in my own shell yeah. for years and years and years, and I came out and now I just don't even fit back in it. Good. I just there's no throw it away. away. I feel like when it, whenever I've had this kind of conversation with people, it's like you always see that everyone feels the same. That everyone has like their own problems and their own thoughts. If you're aware of who you are, if you know that you have weaknesses and strengths, that's healthy, that's not something to be concerned with. You need to look at other people and find beauty in them and then find it yourself. The more that I see myself, the less issues I find. And the more you encounter something, the more you just see it as what it is. Yeah. It's never your body you need to change ever, I don't think. It's not your body, it's your attitude, but that's so hard to change. Fuck whatever I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.